I am back for part three. Um, I'm so busy watching the time trying to get through this in as few videos as possible that I forgot to share on this page. Um, there's a little pull out part here that says little cupcake and then it just reveals a little collage image of a little cupcake there which I thought was quite sweet and it's just held together with brad um, so that just slots in there. Okay this was the page that I was up to and on this page here um, the background first of all um, I inked the whole background with antique linen um, and I forgot to mention actually on any of these pages that I haven't used a paper line at all so all these pages started out as white cardstock because um, I do sometimes get questions from people about what paper line I used so I don't generally use a paper line they're all what I've created really anyway the whole background was sponged with antique linen then I used an opalite ink in uh, glacier blue which gives it that shimmer if you can see that it's got this blue sheen to it okay and then I stamped over the top of that in stays on hydrangea these bird cages which are by basic grey um, from a clear stamp set then I added um, this frame which is a Sizzix frame and I sprayed the frame with glimmer mist um, with full breeze and sand and then I used real eggshell on here um, so there's some at the top and there's quite a lot around the, the frame there and all that was sprayed, I crushed it up and sprayed it with the um, full breeze colour and then I stuck it on using glossy accents then um, I added the little flowers which are prima flowers coloured with um, cosmic shimmer watercolours and the colours I used were Cosmic Skin and Aqua Gold. And then there's just a little crystal in the middle there. They're not Swarovski's these. Um, they're just little clear crystals. Um, the bird collage image was added and the crown. I added some stickles and I didn't like how it came out. So I went over the stickles once they dried. It was just the... Um, I think it was the diamond stickles, one of the clear ones anyway, um, that just adds sparkle. And so I painted over it with the cosmic shin, uh, cosmic skin, uh, watercolor, and it gave it a much nicer color. Um, I did a little bit of text there that was inked up, and a little feather underneath, some prima lace, and. There's a little swallow charm at the top there and I made a Swarovski crystal charm to hang off that um, using aquamarine Swarovski crystals. Okay, next one. This is probably my favourite page in the whole um, book. I was really pleased with how this came out. So the background then, the whole page was painted with um, picket fence crackle paint. As you can see the crackles there. And then over the top of that... I sprayed um, Glimmer Mist in Spring Violet, Cherub Pink and Pink Taffy. And I gave it a couple of coats of that because obviously the crackle paint does want to resist it a little bit. Then the grunge board flourishes were done the same way. Um, Prima flowers, um, some of them were sprayed with colours to match the same kind of colours. Um, some of them were left white but there were stickles added in stardust all around the edges and then Swarovski crystals um, they're a clear AB crystal in 7mm and then some amethyst crystals as well in the smaller flowers the butterflies off a collage page cut out and glossy accents over them which gave them some dimension as well and then I've got a Tim Holtz um, hitch fastener that I put on the door. The door was just a collage image um, and I attached a little charm with a key on the door and then you open the door and it's got, sorry, it's got secret garden written there and then you open the door and it says a place where wishes are made and there's a little girl there with glittered wings and some more butterflies and I was really pleased with how that came out. I added some 
I did some lace around the border of the door too um, and it's just held down there's a, a magnet inside there which you can kind of see where the magnet is just there between two pieces of card and there's a magnet underneath it as well um, so I was really really pleased with how that came out it took a lot of doing to get the door where I wanted it and to get it to open properly um, and it just it's just a internet image and I sort of dirtied it up with some of the crackle paint and then added some um, flower trim at the bottom with some um, grow grain ribbon behind it so that's my favourite page then the next one this one I used um, tissue paper and what I did is I scrunched up the tissue paper white tissue paper glued it onto the cardstock and then sprayed over it with um, glimmer mists and I used cherry blossom, huckleberry, frost and blue skies on there so four different colours in total and then I don't know if you can see too clearly there was a little bit of gold rub and buff um, just added over it randomly this is Tim Holtz ornate plate which I added a couple of coats of um, gesso then some white rub and buff and then it's highlighted with um, gold leaf rub and buff in places not too sure it's picking up a little bit at the top there and just some um, blue brads the fragile stamp is by Paper Artsy and I just sprayed the card that it was stamped on with Huckleberry then some grunge board flowers from the nature pack um, done with crackle paint, picket fence and then sprayed over with iridescent gold some little eggs that have um, stickles on them in stardust and this is fantasy fibre um, which is really iridescent um, underneath there then there's some lace that I coloured in I think it was the cherry blossom and some little tags done in similar colours so this is the top tag um, which says nesting time little image and a stamp in the background and then more of the um, grunge board flowers with a little Swarovski in amethyst light amethyst sorry um, and it's just grow grain ribbon again at the ends there and that's the second tag which I really like that little image on oh, this crackle paint around the edges of these two okay and then this is the back cover which I wanted to keep it very similar to the front page so it's the same um, glimmer mist technique where you scrunch the paper exactly the same colours except this one says um, rebirth of dreams um, and the pearls are the pewter prima pearls on this one and I changed the colour of the flowers I think I used the purple pansy on this one and the Swarovskis on here are tanzanite and that is it that is everything and oh, I didn't mention the fibres or laces rather the laces at the front um, I just had white lace and cream lace and then it was sort of interspersed with laces that were coloured with the same colours as the front bit there so you've got some of the blue and the green and the lilac colours so I really hope you like that I'm sorry it was in three parts but there was absolutely no way I could give you that detail and get it into one um, please leave me a comment I'd love to know whether people like it or not and if you do like it I'd really love to know what your favourite page is as well okay thanks very much for watching bye